We're at fire station number 11 today in North Knoxville. We're going to go inside and meet up with Master Firefighter Al Ludwig, who has an outstanding recipe for some guacamole dip. Hey, buongiorno, DJ. How are you? <laughs> How's it going, Al? Good, good. Yeah, hey, I was telling him that you've got a guacamole dip that you're famous for. Well, it's actually not a dip. It's uh, more of a, what you might call a cream sauce right. or just a... Of course, take the pits out of your avocado and um, just be real careful doing that, of course, and everything. And a little trick of the trade is always a, sharp, a sharper the knife, the safer You it want is. those to be pretty ripe. And how do you tell if they're a good ripe avocado, not too right. hard? Yeah, what you want to do is um, when you're looking at them, inspecting them in the store, they want, you want them to be soft, not overly soft, like where they just collapse under your fingers. But um, to give a little bit under Go your head and stuff. take some lime juice and squeeze down in there. The reason for that is actually um, I want to get that lime juice on there because it stops the oxid oxidization. That's a big fancy word. But basically it keeps the uh, avocado from turning brown. And after this you're just going to scoop out your sour cream into here. We'll set this over out of shot. Just Turn that, keep folding. I believe that's the term they use in baking a lot. With your spoon. Next up, you are gonna add salt. I like to use uh, kosher salt, just because of the granular size, and it looks real fancy if you put it in a nice little jar. You're gonna season the taste at the very end, so don't be uh, too caught up on precise measurements on this and stuff. I like garlic powder. Some people use the minced garlic. It comes in a jar. Don't be afraid. We're also keeping vampires away, stuff like that. So, and you want black pepper. And you'll see, I just keep folding all of that in. So at this point, it's pretty much done. Um, of course, what you wanna do is uh, get you some chips and begin tasting it. And, mmm, that's tangy. I'm feeling the, uh, the tang from the limes and um, I think maybe what it needs is a little more garlic and a little more salt. And see, it's a very, very light green. Okay. Now, the cool thing with this, it's obviously a dip. You can serve it with chips, but you can also use it as a condiment and stuff like that. Uh, like, I make um, fajitas or nachos, something along those lines. You can, you can put it inside a burrito, stuff like that. And actually, you could have it at Thanksgiving um, and just add a little uh, little uh, twist, you know, a little uniqueness to the Thanksgiving meal this year. There's going to be a lot of cooking going on during the holiday seasons. So our safety tip for today is if you're going to be around a stove, Al, tell us some things that we might need to know. Sure, DJ. I like to have just a baking sheet around. It's always really good if you get a fire in a skillet or something. Just to cover it. Make sure it's larger than your skillet. That smothers it out. Um, so it's good to have some baking soda around. And what would be best, get them in a, any store, is just a fire extinguisher. They're very, very handy, very quick. And now if your fire does happen to get out of your skillet or anything, be sure and call 911 and we'll be there as quick as we can to help you. Oh, I love the safety tips and love the guy in the back. He's chowing down on something. I guess that guacamole recipe.